Hey, this is James, the XD man, and uh, we're here to look at the drop safety and how it works when you pull the trigger and the relationship to everything and why the rubbing happens and why it doesn't happen. Uh, there's a theory going around that uh, when you fire the pistol, maybe the trigger bar, that little arm that sticks up uh, and hits the drop safety, isn't clearing the drop safety fast enough for it to... Um, clear the striker and that's why the peening happens. Well, uh, we're going to take a look at uh, everything right now and first I wanted to show you what's going on, alright, and what's really causing the quote damage and why you just gotta let it rub into each other. Alright, so when the pistol is cocked, uh, let's go ahead and, and fire the pistol, right? Um, notice how there's no pressure at all anywhere on this. Now, when the pistol has been fired, the striker is in a free-floating free position. So if we were to shake this slide, and I'm going to hold my pin in so it doesn't lose anything, listen to this. That's the striker that's in there that's actually limp and just rattling around in there. Now, when you cock the pistol, notice how that moved, and now there's a little bit of pressure on there. Well, what happened is that now the trigger bar is actually resting in the bottom of that drop safety, and you can kind of see in there where that uh, that arm is, and I'm going to go ahead and pull my jig out, and we'll be able to see that drop safety in there. Now, see the drop safety? See the position of the uh, striker bar arm. Now, I, I want you to notice, you'll be able to see directly behind that drop safety, you'll be able to see the striker in there moving. And I'm going to tell you what's going on back there. Right now, when the strike, when, when the pistol is cocked, the striker spring is actually pushing that striker forward right now. The way the XDS works is kind of like a Glock, where when you pull the trigger, that starts to transfer the pressure from your finger back to the striker cocking that striker all the way back and then releasing it to let it go forward. Well, right now there's actually pressure because the trigger is all the way forward. That striker, that spring is compressed back there pushing that striker forward. It's pushing that striker forward into that drop safety. And I'll prove that right now by, by this. Now, let's take the pistol as if we were going to shoot it, right? I want you to watch that trigger bar and that drop safety. Notice how that bar, that arm right there, is directly underneath that drop safety. As soon as you start to pull the trigger, watch this, as soon as I start to pull the trigger, you see it moving? As soon as I start to pull that trigger, it's already raising that uh, drop safety out of the way. I'll do it again. As soon as you start to move it, it pulls it out of the way. Now, with your own XDS, you could show, you could do this because you've got that, it's almost like a two-stage trigger, where you got that initial take-up. Well, that initial take-up is you moving that drop safety out of the way. And then now watch behind that, that safety. Notice when I go into that secondary motion, you're watching the striker start to move forward, um, move backwards. And then it fires, right? Let me go put uh, my jig in, and that way we could recock the pistol. All right, let's demonstrate that one more time, all right? So when as soon as you start to pull the trigger, see how it starts to move that striker back? You can see the striker moving back. So on that initial first stage take up, you're moving the drop safety completely out of the way, and then that secondary one, you're actually putting pressure all the way through the trigger bar back to the sear that's catching that striker lug and starting to push it all the way back to give it extra pressure to go ahead and release. But, as you see, as soon as you touch the, 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 the trigger, that drop safety is completely out of the way. Now, the other theory is that maybe uh, because you're dry firing it when you uh, take it apart, and the slide is out of alignment, that maybe that's what's causing that uh, uh, peening. Well, that's not, because we already proved that the striker is under tension, rubbing on that drop safety at all times, uh, if the pistol's cocked. So, let me go ahead and lock the slide back, and raise the disassembly lever, right? Like we're going to take it apart, and let's, let's take a look at it again, alright? Now, I'm going to pull my little retainer uh, fake extractor out so we can see what's going on again. Now, notice that the drop safety is, is down, 
and notice that uh, the striker bar is a little bit further back than it was before. And the theory is because the slide is a little bit forward, that little trigger bar arm does not push the drop safety out of the way. Well, let's go ahead and disprove that again. When you grab the pistol, now watch what happens, all right? As soon as you touch the trigger, what happens already? You're already moving that out of the way. And again, you're putting pressure from the trigger onto the, the, the trigger bar, the sear that's being transferred up to the striker lug. So right now, there's forward pressure on that striker pushing it into the drop safety at all times if the pistol is cocked even if it's slightly out of battery to, to disassemble. Now again, the theory was that this trigger bar arm no longer touches that drop safety, so that that's what's happening. When you dry fire, it's slamming out of the way. Well, as soon as you touch, do you see it? As soon as you touch that trigger bar, as soon as you touch that trigger bar, even to disassemble, it's completely out of the way. And notice, that the drop safety never got released, even though the striker flung forward, right? 